So let's do a little bit with the roto brush. Now I'm going to do it on a still, but you can do it on footage. So let's start with a still. So I have, let's see, let's import the picture, import, file. Like I said, we're going to do this on a still because we want to learn to do it first before we do anything else. Then I'm going to, now since those of you noticed when I picked my Photoshop thing, it said, what do you want to import it as footage, composition. I wanted it as footage. I'm going to merge it. It's perfectly fine. There we go. Now I'm going to drop that on there. And if you know me, I think Deadpool is awesome. So we got a little Deadpool as Oscar. I totally love this. So if we want to use the rotor brush to get rid of the white background. Let's just, whoops, we want... We have to get on its on its own layer, so that's why I double clicked to put on its own layer. Come up here and grab the roto brush, and take the green and just I'm just gonna go right down like that. I did a pretty good job. Didn't get everything, so let's get the things it didn't do. Let's do that, and go across and get this arm. You know, it might do me some good to um, zoom up a bit. So I think I will. We'll just zoom up so I can see what I'm doing. You can see where I've missed and where I've gotten extra parts. So let's let's just kind of zoom around his head here, catch his eyes. And he's got a lot more color than I thought. And so we get the face better. Now look how we got all that extra white. How do we get rid of that? We hold the Option key and we just draw it. All gone. And we'll keep working to get the edges. We're getting there. It takes a while, by the way. If you want to do a good job, it takes a while. Now, okay, so how do we know what kind of a job we did? Well, if we go back to the composition, we can't, you can sort of tell, but I would put, you can see that we didn't do a very good job. I'll zoom up for you so you can see what I'm doing. We didn't do a, I didn't do a very good job around his head. I got some lumps and bumps and chuck outs. I missed this, like part of him. Um, so I have, to, so what I do is just double click him, go back to where I was, do my green thing. And I could zoom up. Like I said, it takes a little while. If you're going to get any, if you're going to be any good at anything, you got to take the time to do it. That's all there is to it. So back to composition and getting there. I still got some white here. And at the moment, I'm gonna, uh, I gotta go back and sort of work that again. Again, like I said, just double click. You're in your layer. You can zoom up. As you zoom up, use the hand tool to move. Now you can put the mask on, and then you can really see what you missed. So we can just paint over that, paint over that, do that. Oops. You know, you can always do the undo, hold. It's just too big for something. If you hold your command key or windows key and you drag, it'll get smaller. Drag up so you can change. I'm doing this on his crotch. It's probably not a good idea. Let's not do that. So you can change the size of the brush. Now I need a much smaller brush. So I'm going to really bring this down to almost nothing so that I can get in this little spot here. I'm going to zoom up so I can see it better. And then I'm going to hold my option or alt key to get that little spot there. And I want to get that little spot there. And I missed this whole side of his leg here. And I'm, I'm doing a hell of a job, aren't I? And I'll zoom out again. And I think I missed this spot here. There we go. And let's try this again. So I'm a little shaky, so we'd like to stay inside the lines. That one turned out pretty good. And, and at this point, because I don't feel like screwing around with this anymore and want to get on to the, want to get on to it. All right. So, I, you know, I got an okay job. Not a great job. But I love Deadpool. So, you know, that's the best I'm going to do. That's it. So we've got him the way I want him. Not really, but we're going to pretend. So the next thing I need to do is get this to work. Now, you got to come over here. The interface is kind of hard. So look over here. See this, if you want this to go for a specific period of time, now I'm going to go for six seconds, you have to drag that out. If you don't drag that out, it only goes as long as it's set. Then we need to freeze. 
now you could just now you just gotta wait and it doesn't take that long I mean this is this is one of those things it just doesn't take that long so we're at the end of this finally yay here we go so let's jump to the composition and he looks pretty good he looks pretty good I could do a better job like I said but he looks pretty good so let's fade him in we've got him selected and the easiest way to do a fade is just to select him and go under transform go to opacity set it at zero drag it forward wherever you want set it to 100 boom now when we play it there you go he fades in you can do the same thing if you motioned him let's move him up here on position and we'll select him and start right there and I'll drag him straight down if I hold my shift key I'll keep it straight uh, of course that doesn't help me that I um, didn't move the playhead forward so let's move it forward select drag him straight down okay so now when we play it you can see he fades in and you can fade it you could do it like that or you could change the length of the fade just drag it forward a little bit so there we go again play practice there you go easy fade in you can fade them out the same way too so that part's pretty easy and that's all there is to that one